Are you ready to do another keto box? I'm ready to be disappointed again. Hey, what's up family? I'm Joe. And I'm Anthony. And this is Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch where we just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. Now you can find us on all kinds of social media like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website which is twocrazyketos.com and that's where you're gonna find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell button so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. We have got the May edition of the Keto Box. And um, it's a little late for this video, uh, but it came late and we were also traveling. So if you don't know what this is, this is a monthly subscription box. It comes with like eight to 12 different types of keto products in it. It's a great way to sample different things without buying an entire case. There's a link down below. That link will get you a little discount on your first box. And uh, this is Anthony. Anthony is our middle son. He is a foodie and he is blatantly honest when it comes to trying different types of foods. Last month, the box wasn't that good. Awful. It was awful. So what we like to do is go through the box. We are going to try everything <clears throat> in the box. We're going to let you know how much each thing costs and what the ingredients are. And uh, then Anthony is going to let you know whether or not he likes it or not. If he likes it, there is a pretty good chance you're going to like it. If he doesn't like it, it's a 50-50 shot that you won't like it. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna grab, I don't have my regular glasses, but I do have these glasses so that I can at least read. We're gonna start off strong with some crackers. That snacks. Almond flour crackers. Two servings per container. All right, I can kind of get behind that. 17 crackers is the serving size. 11 grams, <coughs> 11 grams of fat, three or six grams of total carb, three grams of fiber, less than one gram of total sugar. Uh, so that brings it to three net carbs. The ingredients are al almond flour, egg white, butter, butter, which is cream, coconut flour, cream cheese, which is milk, salt, cream, salt, carabine gum, and cheese culture, flax seeds, aluminum-free baking powder, water, xanthan gum, sea salt, black pepper, garlic, rosemary, and onion. Okay, clean ingredients. We've had these before, although it's been a long time since I've had the plain sea salt. They usually have the cheddar ones. Let's see what Anthony thinks. Kind of just a bland cheese. It. Be honest. It's a cracker. It's an almond flour cracker, but they are pretty good. But who just eats crackers anymore? <laughs> well, well, what? I like crackers, but it's a good if you're having like a a cheese platter, like having a party or something like that. You can throw some of these on there. Uh, Five dollars a bag. Uh, all the prices we have, by the way, I took them off of Amazon. So you might be able to find them cheaper directly on the company's website. So the best thing to do is search around. But just giving you an idea of what they cost. High key double chocolate brownie cookies. We love all the high key cookies. My favorite is the mint chocolate ones. We actually have a recipe that Michelle created using the mint chocolate ones as like little uh, truffle balls. They're like really, really good. <clears throat> so uh, there are two and a half servings in this container. Come on guys, it's two or three, right? It, two and a half, who's eating a half a serving? Uh, so if you eat it per serving, 130 calories, there's six cookies in a <clears> serving, <throat> 11 grams of fat, five grams of protein, 10 total carbohydrates, three grams of dietary fiber, six grams of erythritol. That makes it one net carb. Uh, the ingredients are almond flour, erythritol, butter, which is cream. And then we have cocoa powder, uh, whey protein concentrate, coconut oil, almond butter, egg white powder, psyllium husk, natural flavors, baking soda, salt, monk fruit extract, stevia extract. So again, really good ingredients. Boy, we're starting off with uh, a couple of good products. The only thing about the high key is sometimes they tend to crumble a little bit. Oh, it's like they have like a little bit of erythritol on the outside. It's like a sugar coating. I like these. They're all right. I don't like all the erythritol in them. Yeah. No, I don't really get the cooling effect, but some people do. Uh, price on these are $4 a bag, and usually they're on sale on Amazon. All right, I love this stuff. 
Uh oh, we don't have any water. I don't have any. You know what? I I, I will I will volunteer my water as tribute. Okay. Because I love this crap. <sighs> All right, it's Ultima. It's mm. a replenisher. What flavors did we get? So there's watermelon, raspberry, cherry pomegranate, orange, lemonade, and grape. You can have the grape. Okay. Uh, and I will boldly try raspberry because I love raspberry. Okay. Well, you're mixing it. Want me to go over the ingredients? Sure, go ahead. Okay, so the ingredients in these are magnesium citrate, citric acid, natural. This one's great flavor. Potassium phosphate. Um... Lact lactic acid, potassium aspartate, uh, calcium citrate. Uh, then we have a color blend, which is carrot concentrate and hibiscus concentrate, salt, calcium ascorbate, uh, stevia, zinc citrate, and magnesium citrate. Um, so, okay, let's see. Servings, one serving per stick, zero calories, zero fat, zero carbs. I was looking to see how much potassium and everything it gives you, but it doesn't actually tell you on here. If I can find it, I'll put it across the bottom of the screen of how much you get. We used to have these a lot, but I really like the Ultima and the, uh, the Ultima, the Element and the Redmond more. I You can get these on Amazon two different ways, in the stick form and also in a tub. It's much cheaper to buy it in the tub. Uh, it's going to taste very bland because it's supposed to be 16 ounces of water. This is like 40, so. I mean, it's good. It, it's very diluted. <clears throat> but I still like it. It's good. So, okay. How much uh, are they? Oh, price. So it's a, a dollar a It's stick. a dollar a stick if you buy it in the sticks, and that's the price I gave you because that's what they gave us. But again, it's cheaper if you buy it in the tub. Uh, crap Legendary Foods Strawberry Flavored Tasty Pastry. I liked the old ones when they were like a Pop-Tart. So Wait, they far, changed them? Well, this is, that. remember, they used to be that thin Pop-Tart. You really yeah. liked those. Now they've no, moved to like liked a pastry. And I haven't liked some of the flavors we've tried so far, but let's check this one out. So there is one serving in this whole pastry, 180 calories, 8 grams of fat, 20 grams of protein, 24 Total carbohydrates, seven grams of dietary fiber, 12 grams of erythritol. So that makes it, what is that, seven, 19, five net carbs per pastry. Ingredients are a protein blend, which is micellar, casein, calcium, castanate, collagen, peptides, and whey protein isolate. Then we have erythritol, polydextrose, high oleic sunflower oil, water, glycerin, contains less than 2% of dried strawberries, strawberry extract, vanilla extract, cellulose, sea salt, natural flavors, palm oil, sunflower, less than baking soda, citric acid, modified, uh, xanthan gum, modified cellulose, malic acid, red number 40, sucralose, yellow number five, blue number one, yellow number six, gum arabic, sodium alginate. The only, I wish they weren't using like those like chemical colorings, but other than that, I don't think the ingredients are that bad. Uh, uh, high oleic sunflower oil is actually higher in omega-3s. It's processed different than regular sunflower oil. And palm oil is actually a really good oil. People say all the time, like, oh, palm oil. The biggest problem with palm oil is you have to make sure you're getting it sustainably sourced because they actually do a lot of deforestation and what stuff. What the fudge happened to this thing? So We have the technology. Like Can we frost the whole Pop-Tart? <laughs> <laughs> what is this spit full of frosting on this thing? And it's like a calzone. Why is it so thick? It's a pastry. It shouldn't be able to bend that much. Well, it's supposed to be a soft. Look at this! <laughs> I don't even want to eat this. I'm trying to get it to focus. Doesn't even smell like it smells like way too much like strawberry extract. This smells like alcohol. Well, there was natural strawberry. Like, look, look, there is there is so much. Like I, I don't uh, there is so much That's not an autofocus room. camera. I don't I, you don't need autofocus. Auto you don't camp. need autofocus yeah. to see that this thing is not filled enough. There you go. You ready? Man, it tastes like garbage. The strawberry tastes good. Yeah. No, no, no it doesn't. Wanna know why? Because I only taste pastry. <laughs> I really like the old ones. Better. These things get worse and worse every time I eat them. I swear. Two fifty each one. Yeah, no. 
There's only one of them now? Well, it comes like that, yeah. They're 250. Ooh, this looks fun. Snack house, keto cereal, fruity rubbles. <laughs> fruity rubbles, just <laughs> fruity rubbles. It's alright. We like we like uh fruity pups around here. Uh all right, one one package is a serving. 124 calories per serving. That's a weird number, but all right. 5.5 grams of fat, 8 grams of total carbs, zero fiber, 3 grams of sugar, includes 3 grams of added sugar, 5 grams of allulose. So that's 3 net carbs, right? Yeah. Okay. What's the... <laughs> I freaking can't with this thing. I like, they, 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 they're so deep into, like, trying not to steal the IP of just Fruity Pebbles, that Yabba Dabba Delicious. Yeah. Who, what cartoon character does Yabba Dabba Delicious remind you of? <laughs> you didn't go over the ingredients. Oh, my bad. It's probably just, oh, crap. I totally ripped it. All right. Milk protein isolate, palm kernel oil, which is palm kernel oil and, sea le and soy lecithin. Cacao solids, allulose, sugar, whey protein concentrate, nonfat milk, vanilla, natural flavors, stevia, monk fruit, uh, sunflower lunches, then law, salt, yellow number five, blue number one, and red number 40. Wow. We've had some of their cereals before. I always thought they were pretty Whoa. good. Now, I dogged on them. But they're yabba dabba delicious instead of that. I don't think they taste like, I guess they do taste like fruity pebbles, no. which is what they're- Fruity pebbles suck, I'm sorry. Whoever I offend. The second that fruity pebbles touch the milk, they're soggy. They're not good. I like, think, they I ripped they, off the wrong brand. I think they taste like Fruit Loops. No, they should. They taste like tricks. Okay, they are they, tricks. They're yeah. on the wrong- they went, they, they went full rip off of Fruity Pebbles and they could have easily ripped like tricks. off tricks. Yeah, yeah. Now it's good. Uh, it, it is, you have a dab of delicious. Now but. you can buy them in big bags, uh, but if you break There's it down- There's a lot of sugar in here though. If you break it down, there is, uh, they're $2 a piece. They are very, very sweet. They're very sweet. There's three grams of sugar in there, so if you're- Yeah, they're adding sugar. Yeah. That's, that's the only thing that like, I would give this to kids though, or my grandkids. Yeah. Even though it's got a little bit of sugar, compare that to the actual brands that they're ripping off. I'll let you have those because I know you'll finish them. No, I won't. <clears throat> I don't eat cereal. <laughs> Unless it's like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Okay, next up. Do we have to try pistachios? No, I don't think we do. It's fine. It's a it's pistachios. It's pistachios. We know what pistachios uh, taste like. You, this is the best way to buy pistachios, right? Because it's an individual serving. I'll go over the nutrition on these. It's 130 calories for the entire bag. Now, pistachios are higher in carbs. Six total carbohydrates with two grams of dietary fiber. So if you eat the whole bag, it's going to be four net carbs. And uh, you're getting five grams of protein and 10 grams of fat. The reason I say this is the way to get it is because they're in the shell, so it's gonna make you take longer, and it's an individual serving. And you could buy these on Amazon, it breaks down to 60 cents a package. So that's like really cheap. All right, I'm gonna take this because I need to end up with a beef stick. Okay. All right, I can't wait to try all, there's like five knockoff Cliff Bars in there, so we're gonna we're gonna try them all. Okay. All right, what, what, this one's called Buff Bake. Okay, we've had fuel, some of these Fuel before. bar plus MCT oil. Vanilla almond, plant-based, what a, what a joy. <laughs> all right. The bar, the serving size is the one bar, 220 calories, 14 grams of fat, 17 grams of total carb, 13 grams of fiber, one gram of sugar, leading it to what? Four net carbs, I can't do math. Ingredients, nuts, which is almonds and cashews, prebiotic fiber syrup, pea protein, pea protein crisps, natural flavors, glycerin, MCT powder, sea salt, monk fruit extract, contains cashews and tree nuts. Not bad ingredients, it does have the prebiotic fiber in there, but they're not using it to sweeten it, so. Uh, I actually have liked these, and we can get them a lot of times at Wawa if you're like on the road. They've changed it a little bit. It used to be like these little different things. Maybe, maybe I don't like these. I don't know. I thought I liked these. Hold on. That's pretty good. That's good. I do like these. I like the giant nuts that you get in it. It has a really good vanilla flavor. I 
quiet. I'm going to ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. Uh, price on those, 250 a bar. Okay. Fat. Ketogenic nut bar. Raspberry and almond flavor. Zero added sweetener. Okay. It's a little hard to swallow. I'll say that. Uh, servings, one bar. 134 calories per serving, 13 grams of total carbohydrates. And then we have uh, 10 grams of fat, 3.5 grams of protein, 11 grams of fiber. Well, zero added mm. sweetener because they're probably using fiber as the sweetener. Ingredients, number one ingredient is almond. And we have chicory extract, okay? Almond oil, inulin dried raspberries, natural flavorings. That's it. That's all that's in it. Okay. okay. Well, we'll try this. Maybe maybe they're behaving. No. They're, they're using like a chicory fiber. Obviously, it's a sweetener. You can tell because it's like glistening. And it's like taffy. What the fudge? Why? I'm not eating that. <laughs> you have to eat it. Nope. Where's the raspberry? I taste it. They sneezed it on. <laughs> they 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 put a fa they put raspberries next to it on a fan and blew the air to the bar. That's what they did. I, I don't taste any raspberry at all. I taste a very tiny amount. I taste more raspberry in my diluted forty ounce drink than I do in that. Yeah, no. It's I don't like the texture. But they're playing the fiber game. I'm not interested in companies that play the fiber game. They're $1.75 a bar. Monk Pack. We like these. Keto Granola. Speak for yourself. Uh, yeah. Keto Granola Bar. Almond Butter Cacao Chip. Cocoa Chip. Whatever. Um, <clears throat> where is the ingredients? Oh, there they are. Under the fold. Well, it's a lot of ingredients. Okay. Ingredients, almonds, allulose, almond butter, coconut, sunflower seeds, salt, salt, soluble tapioca fiber, flax seeds, vegetable glycerin, palm kernel oil, natural flavor, sea salt, alkalized cacao powder, unsweetened chocolate, cacao butter, mixed tofurals for freshness, sunflower, sunflower lettuce, then monk fruit extract, responsibly sourced, allergens, contains almonds, coconut, traces of milk, pecans, and other tree nuts. So not bad ingredients. Are they playing the fiber game? Uh, serving size, one bar, 140 calories for the bar, 12 grams of fat, 12 grams of carb, four, four carbs, 4 grams of fiber, so 1 now, gram of sugar, 5.5 grams of allulose, 0.5 grams of glycerin, making it 2 net carbs. How much protein? You don't read the protein. Oh, my bad. It's on the bottom. 5 grams. 5 grams of protein. Okay. I've tried them before. I've tried pretty much all the flavors, and I haven't had one I don't like. Not good. It's not good? Not good. I like that. It's all right. It's very nutty. This is the better of all of them. The buff bake. You like yeah. the buff bake. This one was the best one out of all of them. Okay. Uh, price in the monk pack, $2. Really? Yeah. You like this stuff. I do. Did you bring a spoon? Okay. This is Natural Haven Brown Rice Hearts of Palm. Fully cooked. Ooh, brown rice. Um, so it says, the plant that we harvest are Natural Haven Hearts of Palm products pr from provide a wealth of resources for the ecosystem of Central American oxygen to Earth's atmosphere and natural beauty. That's why we practice sustainably harvesting techniques. That's very important. Allowing the plant to naturally regenerate up to three stems in place of each cut. After harvest, we carefully clean and slice each heart and package it out without adding any moisture or preservatives. The product you're about to enjoy is entirely free of grains, gluten, and additives, and it shares a light al dente texture, color, and natural taste with grain rice. Hope you enjoy our Natural Haven product and use it to make a positive change in your diet. The ingredients, hearts of palm. So that's it. Hope that's it, yeah. Uh, after consuming, uh, consume after opening, consume immediately or store in your refrigerator for three days from Ecuador. So there's two and a half servings. No, there's not. There's two or three. To be honest, probably one like, serving for it's me. It's one for Anthony, maybe two. Serving size is a half a cup. 
Uh, servings per <clears> container, 25. If you eat the entire package, it's 70 calories. Uh, zero grams of fat, one gram of protein, three if you eat the entire thing, four grams of dietary fiber of carbohydrates if you eat one serving, 11 if you eat the entire package, five grams of fiber if you eat the entire thing. I'm okay with deducting that fiber. It's a heart to palm. It's like healthy. There's a thing you can rip right there, Dan. I can't get to it though. Or we can do that. Mm. Okay. Here we go. It certainly doesn't look appetizing. No, it doesn't. Now, it does. Like, you can kind of look at it. It kind of looks like shredded coconut. But... I'll swear by this stuff all day. This stuff is good. I don't care what anybody says. I think it tastes good. It needs salt. It needs salt. I disagree with the al dente texture, though. No, it's a little. It's it, it cooked. It's, it's not. It's, it's cooked through. Yeah. Okay. Uh, price on those, $4.50 a box. Okay. Last That's thing. It. Think jerky. Grass-fed beef stick. Zero grams of sugar, eight grams of protein. All right. <clears throat> Ingredients. Zero percent grass-fed beef, sea salt, encapsulated lactic acid, spicy cultured celery powder, granulated garlic, granulated onion, stuffed in a beef collagen casing. Serving size, one ounce. Servings per package, one. 80 calories, 50 gram or five grams of fat, two grams of saturated fat. One total carb, zero fiber, zero sugar, eight grams of protein. Sounds good. Can you get that? Yeah, I can. No, I can do it. Go with the scissors? No, I don't. I'm having a hard time there. No, I got it. <laughs> Anthony likes his beef sticks. Right? Oh, it got a good crunch. I like that snap. Yeah, it's got a good snap. That's good. That's pretty good, actually. You're the beef stick connoisseur. You like yeah, it? that's pretty good. Uh, price on these, $1.40 a beef stick. This was actually not pretty a good. bad box. Yeah. It was a pretty good box. Nothing that I really wouldn't eat except for this. I would not buy this. They're playing the fiber game. I don't like the texture. I don't like any product where they put mostly fiber in there and then say, we're not adding a sweetener, but they're using a fiber to sweeten it. That's the fiber game, if you, if you don't know. Uh, let us know if, down in the comment section if you tried any of these products. Uh, if you have which ones do you like, which ones didn't you like. Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos. We have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at the most recent video, which I'm going to put right over here. But whether you head that way or you head this way, make sure you head this way. Subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon so that you are notified every time we upload a new video. And until next month, bye. bye.